Question number 171. Which capacity or volume is used for assessing pulmonary function through spirometer? Spirometer is an instrument which is used in clinical diagnosis of lung function test. So among the given options, we have to find out that which capacity or volume is used for assessing pulmonary function through spirometer. And we know with an exception of residual volume, total lung capacity and functional residual capacity, all other lung volumes or capacities can be measured by this instrument. So the correct answer for this question is as it cannot measure these volumes or capacities. So the correct answer for this question is option number Three. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 172. Difference between arteries and veins cannot be based on. So you need to find out an option based on which we cannot differentiate between arteries and veins. And the very first option given is diameter of lumen. And as you can see in between artery and veins, artery has narrower lumen in comparison to wider lumen in vein. So based on this, we can establish the difference between these two different type of blood vessels. So this cannot be a correct answer. Our next option is direction of blood flow with respect to heart. And based on this also, we can differentiate between the, these two blood vessels. So this cannot be a correct answer. Our third option is based on the presence of valves in veins. And based on this also, we can differentiate between these two blood vessels as arteries lack valves, whereas veins have these valves in them. So this is an incorrect option. The next option given is presence of endothelium in their wall. And based on this, we cannot differentiate between arteries and veins. So this is a correct answer to our question because the wall of these two blood vessels consists of endothelium. So the correct answer for this question is option number four. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 173. Parameter not affected by sympathetic stimulation of heart. And the very first option given is cardiac output and the next option given is stroke volume. And we know that sympathetic stimulation of heart will increase the cardiac output as well as stroke volume. So this cannot be a correct answer because these are affected by sympathetic stimulation. The next option given is duration of cardiac cycle and the signals from sympathetic system will decrease the duration of cardiac cycle. So this cannot be a correct option. Our last option given is involuntary nature of cardiac musculature and this involuntary nature of cardiac musculature is not under the effect of sympathetic stimulation of heart. Cardiac muscles are not under control of our will. So the sympathetic stimulation cannot affect the involuntary nature of cardiac musculature. And so this is a correct answer to our question. So the correct answer is option number 4. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 174. Which of the following option given below is correct representation of net filtration pressure? So we need to find out the correct representation of net filtration pressure. And we know that this net filtration pressure, also known as glomerular filtration pressure, is equivalent to. And what is this pressure? This net filtration pressure as well as glomerular filtration pressure is the pressure difference on both sides of the filtration membrane. And this glomerular filtration pressure developed because of the pressure difference between GHP, which is glomerular hydrostatic pressure, minus the sum of BCOP which is blood colloidal pressure and CHP which is capsular hydrostatic pressure and this is given by 60 mmHg GHP minus 30 mmHg of BCOP plus 20 mmHg of CHP and this is nearly 10 mmHg glomerular filtrate pressure. So the very first option given is GHP, glomerular hydrostatic pressure minus capsular hydrostatic pressure. This cannot be a correct answer. Second option given is glomerular hydrostatic pressure minus capsular hydrostatic pressure plus blood colloidal osmotic pressure. And this is a correct representation for this net filtration pressure and it's a correct answer to our question. Next option given is glomerular hydrostatic pressure plus capsular osmotic pressure. This is an incorrect option. And the last option given is capsular hydrostatic pressure plus blood colloidal osmotic pressure minus glomerular hydrostatic pressure. And this is also an incorrect representation. So the correct answer for this question is option number two. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 175. Read following sentences carefully. And select the false statement with respect to humans. And the very first statement given is 
enterohepatic portal system brings deoxygenated and nutrient loaded blood from intestine to liver and this is a true statement so this cannot be a correct answer because this hepatic portal system it will bring this nutrient loaded as well as deoxygenated blood from intestine to liver the next option given is right auricle is considered as collecting chamber of heart whereas left ventricle is considered as distributing chamber of heart and this is a true statement so cannot be a correct answer the next option given is largest amount of urea is present in renal vein and this is a false statement and is a correct answer to our question because the largest amount of urea is present in hepatic vein rather than renal vein and the next option given is blood pressure in the pulmonary artery is more than in pulmonary vein and this is also a true statement so this cannot be a correct answer to our question so the correct answer for our question is option number 3 let's move on to the next question 